Welcome to the Adult Fans of Nerf Show. I'm Mr. K, and today in Nerf News, we are talking about the Stockade, the Elite Spectre, and uh, the Ravonix 360, as well as what I'm calling the Color Splash series, which is the new Vortex Blasters that are coming out. We don't really have an official name for them, so uh, that's what I came up with to refer to them. Um, anyway, uh, the Stockade, is, according to our contact in Nerf, is coming out to Walmart stores. Now, uh, we don't have an official date on this because apparently it's up to Walmart to decide that. Um, and I did try to contact Walmart, but it's been a week and I've had no luck. So we'll just have to wait and see and hope it comes out relatively soon. Um, as for the Spectre, it showed up in Singapore, I believe, for a tournament that they're having over there. And I asked my contact at Nerf to look into it, and I have yet to hear back on the Spectre about, or the Spectre's release date. So we'll see as to when it comes out and where it comes out, because I'm not sure if it'll come out at Walmart or it'll come out at another store, because Walmart already has one exclusive. Doesn't mean they're not going to have more than one, but in my experience, they don't tend to have a lot of exclusives. Um, that seems to be more Toys R Us territory, but I'm not sure that they'll get the Spectre either. We'll see. Hopefully it comes out at some store in the U.S. so that uh, more than just Singapore can get it. Hopefully Australia, UK can get it as well sometime in the future. Um, but as for the UK, um, as far as my last start has said, it is not coming out. Um, anyway, on to the Revonix 360. The Revonix and the Color Splash series are set to come out fall this year. Now, um, in Nerf terms, that usually means August to November. So, uh, any time in that, it could come out. Um, personally, I'm looking forward to them. I like the new designs that they have on them, and I'm looking forward to the Revonix because uh, yes, it is basically uh, a Pyragon, but in my mind it's a little better because you can reload on the fly. So, there's that. Um, that's really all the news we have for you today. So let's get on to the review. Hey Mr. K. What's up? What are we going to review today? I don't know. Why don't you give me a clue? Ah. Uh... That's right, today we're going to be reviewing the Clue Elimination Game from Hasbro. Uh, basically their way of changing up the way that you play Clue. And selling more redesigned jolts. Absolutely. Um, now, from what we've played of it, there's quite a bit different from the actual game of Clue. Um, this is basically... Hide and seek. Yeah. With jolts. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the object of the game is to get a full set of cards. Now there's four houses. There's the house of Peacock, Scarlet, Mustard, and Green. And basically what you're doing is, it, it, it's intended to play with, it says two to four players, but really you want three or four players, because uh, if you play with two, it's really going to be one and done. You're that kind of, that comes from the nature of the game. So the, na the game is kind of an assassination game. You go around, everybody has cards that have their house logo and stuff on them. You can write the person's name on the card. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you would be able to erase said person's name. It, it says name from pencil, the card. but you're probably not going to be able to write on those cards very easily with pencil. Well, you'd, you'd make indents, which would make the name. Anyway. So everybody has their card, cards, uh, and then when you take somebody out, if you're the shooter, you receive one of that person's cards. If they don't have one of their own, you take one of theirs at random, and you go until, like, if, if you have no cards left, you are out of the game. So if you're playing with one person, and they have one card, you have one card, you take that person out, then the game's over, and you get to play again. Yeah, because you have a full set of cards then. Yeah. So it's, it, it's kind of pointless to play with two people, but... You can do it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so basically, the, uh, you uh, decide what you're gonna, which house you're gonna play as. Uh, you pick your blaster, your, you take your darts, and you take your cards for that particular house. Um, and then you get 30 second head start to run around and hide. Or just, you know, generally take cover. Yep. Um, and then after that, it's free for all. Basically try and shoot other people and uh, according to the rules, um, if you shoot somebody, it's an automatic timeout for those two people. They can't be shot by other people, they can't shoot each other for 30 seconds. 30 seconds yeah. And they have that 30 seconds to, um, if whoever, whoever got shot has to give up a card. If they don't have a card of their own, they have to give up one of the other cards that they have. And if they don't have any cards, they lose. If you get a full set of cards, you win. By a full set of cards, you made a full set of house cards. So if you have one card from every house, you win the game. Every house that's playing. That's playing. Right? Yep. Um, and there are a couple of other ways that you can play. Um, the advanced play option is that you have, there's extra cards in there called location cards. Yeah. And They're basically, cool. you try to in eliminate someone in that area. So there's um, ones like, there's ones like... And you get like extra points. Eliminate target here, the bedroom. The backyard. The garage, kitchen, hallway, inside. Then there's a two that you can write your own on. And uh, there's also a one called Mega Elimination. And basically, um, each of you take an ID card and write your name on it. It doesn't matter what house it is. Um, this is for a lot of people, more than what this set has for blasters. Basically, you all want to get blasters. Um, I would advise taking a single shot blaster like um, the Jolt. Um, maybe a Triad would work, you know, Fire Strike, Reflex would work. Um, and you shuffle the, uh, the ID cards together, deal one to everyone at random, and then uh, that card is your target. And then if you manage to track that player down and shoot them, they are eliminated and you get their target card. So then that, the card that they have is your new target. It's your target. And then um, if you get yourself as the card, you're automatically eliminated. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple game. Um, I mean, you don't even need, honestly, you don't even need to buy the set in order to play it. You can kind of play it with index cards and a couple of jolts. Um, yes, you really want to get it. I mean, I'm sure you could find the rules for the games online and whatever, which would make this actually a pretty cool little party game to play. Um, <clears throat> you really are, are going to go up and buy for the Jolts. Uh, the Jolts are probably my favorite part of it because, like you said, you can play the rest of the game with anything else, really. Um, I like the way I mean, they made them. They're, they're all kind of Victorian looking. They're all themed for their own. So that was Scarlet, the yellow one. Here, I'll show them all to you at the same time. And they all come with three color-coded uh, sonic darts. They're not exactly sonic darts. They have question marks on the tips you probably can't see instead of a Nerf logo, uh, making them unique to Hasbro, removing them from Nerf a little bit. Um, they also seem to have a little bit larger um, whistle hole than the regular sonic darts. Um, not really sure why that is. It just probably makes them whistle a little bit better. One cool thing that I like if you can see here, each one of the pullback plungers for the blasters is unique. So, another cool little piece of detail. Yep, and they're all fairly similar to the Elite Jolt um, structurally, and uh, we haven't taken one apart or anything, but uh, since they came out around the same time as the Elite Jolt, I would almost be sure that it has the same spring inside, because it from what it looks like, it has the same uh, air restrictor inside as well. Possible. Again, we don't know. We're speculating. So yeah, it's, it's a fun party game. Um, it can help you get other people into playing Nerf. Because um, it's a yeah. gateway game. So, uh, check it out. Check it out. It's in the game sections. Go, go, go find it. Tell us what you think. Keep nerfing.